Good morning, welcome to today's video. I just woke up getting ready, washing my face. I don't really have like a big plan for this video, but I do know exactly what I want to do, if that makes sense. So last week I was watching Laura DIY's new video. Actually, I don't even know if it was new. I went down a rabbit hole watching a ton of Laura DIY videos. I'm really late to that train, but I just hopped on the bandwagon with Laura DIY content. So I was binging her channel. I was watching the video where Laura DIY goes to LA's like wealthiest thrift store. She, like the closest one to Calabasas and it was so entertaining it was so cool because her theory was right you know she found the closest thrift store to uh, celebrities and she imagined that like with all of their PR stuff and clothes that they're getting rid of and donating they would take it to the closest thrift store and she found amazing items there obviously I live in Minnesota so we cannot go to that same thrift store but we do have some pretty wealthy areas and I know a thrift store that I've actually been eyeing because because it's in a nice neighborhood and I was like dang I should really venture over here it's like half an hour from where I li live but I was like dang I should really venture on over to this Goodwill because it's in a pretty bougie area and see what I can find so today's video is going to be a little bit of like a vlog day in my life but the main thing that we're going to do today is go to this thrift store and see if I can find any good deals see what they have to offer there's a thrift store really close to my apartment that I usually go to actually I have like two go-to spots they're pretty decent like I found a lot of good stuff from like Target and like local brands and just like high quality stuff but I'm super curious if the Goodwills are going to have kind of like similar vibes or if the Goodwill in this nicer neighborhood is going to have like higher up quality items and I don't know we're gonna find out of course before we get started don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because the engagement really does help with my content comment down below as well as subscribe make sure the notification bell is turned on as well I always shout out the first comments on my social media so be sure to be following me on my socials I have a new snapchat so make sure you're following me on my new snapchat and my Twitter handle was incorrect for years on my YouTube because I'm an idiot so make sure you have me on snapchat and Instagram and Twitter with all of that being said typically on weekdays I pick up my brothers from school so I grab my youngest brother from elementary school then I go to the gym for an hour and then I pick up my middle oldest but middle oldest brother from high school and then we're going to head to that thrift store and since tonight is a Monday night I'm heading to my friend Hadley's house this evening to watch The Bachelor it is fantasy sweets night I can't believe we made it this far in the season if you like The Bachelor my TikTok is one huge bachelor content TikTok. So make sure you're following me on TikTok for bachelor content if you're into that. I do like theories on the endings. I do memes. I do a little bit of spoilers, but not too much. Yeah, it's a good time. Luckily, my friend Hadley lives really close to this Goodwill that I've been eyeing that's in like the nicer area. So right after we go thrifting at that Goodwill, we'll head over to Hadley's for bachelor and then we'll head back home and I'll do a little haul and show you what I got. But I have about an hour right now before I have to grab my brothers from school and work out and all of that so I'm gonna eat some breakfast get some work done and we'll probably montage it real quick until we get to the thrift store so for you guys it'll probably be like 30 seconds but for me it's gonna be like three or four hours but I'll see you on the other side off to the gym this is definitely like a Minnesotan thing but it is so warm today it's 38 degrees that's almost 40 degrees that I am NOT wearing a jacket for the first time all winter and it feels so good I don't want to get my hopes up and say that winter is almost over because the winter is still young it's still February a few years ago we had a snowstorm in May like the last week of April and then we had snow all of May so a lot can happen until spring and summer is officially here but right now oh my god hi Come on, you don't want to be my YouTube video? Is that for 2020? No, 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 it's for an actual video. Just say hi really excitedly. Hey! Hi. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's the baby! Hello! Hi! Good boy! What a good boy, hello! week 
walked off on the treadmill today, three miles down, but who The funniest thing happened though when I was working out is I was listening to my Spotify, I'm at the gym playlist, follow me on Spotify if you want. While I was listening to it, I was like, wow, wouldn't that be funny if my boyfriend Tyler like saw on my Spotify that I was listening to my gym playlist and asked if I was working out and I had like that psychic moment. This is an example of all the little times where I feel either telepathic or intuitive or psychic. And then I checked my phone and my friend Will snapped me a screenshot of my Spotify of me listening to my playlist I'm at the gym and he captioned it you better be at the gym right now which I was so I thought that was really funny I'm grabbing Caleb and then I'm gonna shower and head to the thrift store just wanted to give you that update because I thought the story was so funny and shout out to Will for being my number one stalker just kidding love you bye hey Hi. I'm vlogging today hey Hi. <laughs> this is the most Minnesotan thing in the world. It's 40 degrees and I'm out here in a sports bra and a tank top. Granted, I just worked out, but still, it's so warm out. All ready to go? Let's go thrifting. Just made it. I only have about an hour before I have to be at Hadley's for The Bachelor tonight, so we're gonna have to work fast, but I know that it's a good goodwill already because I parked next to a car charger, like the electric chargers for cars, and my goodwill in my area doesn't have that. So I'm excited to see what we can find, but like I said, I only have about 60 minutes, so let's do this thing. the dot so we did it I have a few things to say off the bat about this goodwill first of all I think it's actually smaller than the one in my area and I was both like expecting what I saw but also a little disappointed because I think my goodwill has better selection and more options I'll do a haul when I get home later I'm heading to Hadley's for the bachelorette right now bachelorette for the bachelor right now but I signed up for some program which my goodwill has never like once asked me about it might be new but I didn't buy a lot but I saw a lot of higher brands designers Zara American Eagle Forever 21 J Crew stuff like that I am going to be late so I'm gonna head to Hadley's I I don't think I'm gonna come back to this Goodwill. It was a cool experience and I found a handful of things that I wanted, but overall, like, I don't think it was worth the drive. There were a lot more things that I wanted, but I realized there was something wrong with every single item. Like I saw this super cute American Eagle hoodie, but the pocket was ripped, or they had this super cute LA brand kind of like oversized cute t-shirt dress, but it had a stain, so stuff like that. And they really didn't have a lot of home decor things, which my Goodwill is just packed with. So that was a little upsetting, so. Let's go to Hadley's. Oh, your shoes scared me. It smells so good. Hi, I'm vlogging today. <laughs> you weren't kidding. No. Yeah. <laughs> Fruit salad. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Okay, Peter, yeah. Can I talk to you first? This could change 
everything. Wait, does she give him the ultimatum right now? I don't think so. Right now. I'm back from Hadley's Bachelor night. Cannot believe the finasco that's going on this season. Holy crap. I wanted to do a quick haul of what I found at the Bougier Goodwill. And I want to say I wasn't as impressed as I expected to be. I think I mentioned this a little bit. However, I don't really know if I had expectations, but it just, the, sorry, my hair is like a mess. The Goodwill, just that thrift store was probably worse than the thrift store in my area. And I guess I do forget that I also live very close to a nice area myself and that I just went to a different nice area. They didn't have a lot and it wasn't that busy. And I'm pretty sure the Goodwill I went to was smaller than the one that's by my house. So maybe my Goodwill just has better options. But I did notice that a lot of the clothing brands that I searched through were Zara, Topshop, J. Crew, American Eagle. Forever 21, H&M, Hollister, better brands, you know, a lot of like brand new Target stuff, but they just really didn't have home decor, anything in the home decor section at all, which my Goodwill, my area is like thriving in, like I find so much stuff there. I didn't have any luck in the clothing section either, and I always find the most amazing t-shirts in the men's section. I didn't find anything, like I'm pretty disappointed that I didn't find a lot. I mean, I bought a couple things that I'll show you now, but I don't think I'm going to waste the gas and time to commute to a different Goodwill and the one in my area is just as great, if not better. However, I will show you what I found today. And like I did mention, I saw so many cute things, but as I put them in my cart, I realized that there was something wrong with them. You know, it was ripped, there were stains, it just wasn't good quality, which is a bummer. The first thing I found is this adorable J. Crew button down top. It's navy blue with little stars on. I think it's perfect for the springtime. I I can picture this with like white denim or even a little skirt. It looks darker on camera, but it really is blue and cinches at the waist and goes out a little bit. This is a J. Crew top and I got it for, well, originally it was $9 at Goodwill and then I signed up for the rewards, which I didn't even know they had. Either it's new or my Goodwill in my location just has never told me about it, but I ended up getting it for $2.25 instead of $9 because I got 75% off of this item, which is just amazing. But yeah, I think this is very like business casual and if I had my old job, I could still wear this Who knows if I ever need something fancy smancy I got it and I think it's super cute in summary the second top that I got is just from American Eagle and it's this tank top it says Friday I'm in love I was actually looking for oversized thin cropped tanks like this to work out in because I like having very like exposed tank tops like I'll cut tank tops like this to work out in just because I'm a fan of baggier clothing when I work out you know some people like working out in tight stuff and I like working out in baggy clothes because it gives my body more space to breathe so I got this top from American Eagle and it's in good quality like that was the other thing I saw a lot of good tank tops that I could work out in but they were like they had like bald fabric on it you know like you could tell it's been worn a lot this was six bucks that's the other thing that I noticed too is that the prices in this Goodwill were a lot higher than the ones that I was used to like I could get tops for a dollar 199 in my area and these were all like in the six seven eight dollar range interesting anyway the only other success that I had in this Goodwill was in the literature section so I first found Perks of Being a Wallflower, which I actually read in high school. There's a really personal backstory to the first time I read this book. Basically, my high school friend loaned me this copy a week before I was hospitalized. And then when I was hospitalized for mental health, I remember being on the phone with my mom and she was like packing things for me. And I just told her to grab a book in my room and she grabbed this and I read it in the hospital. This was before the movie even came out. <laughs> That's how old I am. And it helped a lot because Charlie was also in the hospital and it brought so much clarity and it just comforted me but that copy of the book that I read in high school was my friend's it wasn't mine and since then I knew I always wanted a copy of this book myself I would always see the book copy with like the movie on the cover but I wanted the original and I finally found it today for like a dollar 49 so I'm really happy that I have this because it just holds a very dear place in my heart the other book that I found was Joan Didion's The Year of Magical Thinking I love Joan Didion I read one of her other books for class last year, but I haven't read this one. Yeah, it reminded me of you season two because love on that is like, you haven't read Joan Didion? So wanted to get this as well. So I did find two tops and two books, but honestly, this is the least amount of things that I have 
ever come back from the thrift store with so I don't think it was a success maybe it was a fluke it wasn't that great so I'm glad that I gave it a try and I put myself out there and I went to see you know what that goodwill had to offer because it was a location that I've been wanting to check out but you know what maybe thrifting and like donating your stuff just isn't that big of a deal in that neighborhood because the store was like empty and they didn't have a lot of things and it was small so I guess I'm grateful for my location and what's around me and the grass isn't that green on the other side so thank you for watching this video i'm sorry if it was a little bit of a fluke but this was also like a day in my life and you got to see what i was up to and i tried something new so i really appreciate you coming along on this journey with me and don't forget to leave a like because it does help make sure you're subscribed and have the notification bell turned on and follow me on all my socials i'll see you guys real soon with my next video also don't forget to check out my merch it's always listed down below as well as my podcast and i'll catch you on the flip side hi marnie are you here to say goodbye you want to say bye bye nope she doesn't they hate me <laughs> i'll see you guys later have a good rest of your night bye i was so hurt and upset that i never gave him another chance